So the Bible says that God has appointed a day in which he will judge the whole world in righteousness by the man of Jesus Christ. So he has appointed a man everywhere to repent. Jesus said many people are going to come to him on the judgment day and say, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in your name? And he will say plainly to them, I know you not. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Jesus said, only those who hear, only those who do the will of God will enter into the kingdom of my Father. So you need to do the teachings of Jesus Christ. You need to follow his commandments. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9 says that salvation is made only to those who keep the commandments of Jesus Christ. So you need to be born again. Jesus says in John chapter 3, unless you're born again, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds were evil. So you need to believe on Jesus Christ. But if you believe on Jesus Christ, you're going to follow his words. Is it not hypocritical to say, I believe in Jesus, but I don't keep his commandments? That's what 1 John chapter 2, verse 4 says. He that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So you need to turn to Jesus. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Turn to the Lord our God, and God shall abundantly pardon him. So praise God. You need the blood of Jesus Christ. You need the blood of Jesus Christ on the judgment day, otherwise you will have no cloak for your sin. Only through the atonement of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, He that walks in darkness and says that he know him is a liar and the truth is not in him. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ, his, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. So you need to follow Jesus Christ. Not just the mental acknowledgement of God's existence, but following the Son of God. Do you know him or do you know of him? Do you know God personally? He wants to speak to you guys personally. He wants to talk to you guys personally. Don't you want to know your creator? You were created in his image. And it's going to bear witness on Judgment Day. The Bible says that we have two witnesses, conscience and creation. And on the Judgment Day, they're going to bear witness. So there's no excuse for sin on the Judgment Day. You need to turn to Jesus Christ. God says in the Bible that he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked man turn from his ways and live. So why not turn to Jesus Christ? The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, He that committeth sin is of the devil. He that committeth sin is of the devil. He that saith he know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So you need to follow Jesus Christ. Call upon his name. Romans chapter 10 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not the name of Buddha, not the name of Muhammad, not the name of Confucius. Only Jesus has the words of eternal life. Only Jesus Christ has the teachings of eternal life. They can be found in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So you need to read his words. Do you know the teachings of Jesus Christ or do you know the desires of your flesh? You're either a child of God or a child of the devil. You might say, well, I thought everybody was a child of God. No, Jesus said in John chapter 8 to all the Jews in the synagogue, you are of your father the devil. You are of your father the devil. So you need to follow Jesus Christ. You need to be born again. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away, and all things have become new. So you need to be regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Do you know the Holy Spirit? Are you a new creation in Christ? Otherwise, you're on, the on your way to the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 20 says, Whosoever's name was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Jesus says, Outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So broad is the path unto destruction and narrow is the path unto life. But praise God, you can be saved through Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life through Him. For whosoever believes on the Son of God should not perish, but have everlasting life because God so loved the world. But you need to forsake your ways. You need to follow Jesus Christ. You need to depart from iniquity. The Bible says, whosoever names the name of Christ, let him depart from iniquity. So call upon his name like hell is about to swallow you up. In the book of James, the Bible says this life is but a vapor. It appears for a little while and then passes away. So you need to follow Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord while he may be found. You only have one opportunity to follow Jesus Christ. And there's one of two places. You need to be born again spiritually. You need to be raised to life by the Holy Spirit. Absolutely, I respect that. Yeah. So, uh, 
Is uh is this a public? This isn't a public. This is private property. This is private property. The civic center is pro is private property. Yeah. Are you sure about that? This this area is private. Oh okay. Is this like uh, the Holiday Inns? Yeah. So okay. We gotta go down there. All right. Uh, so yeah, you're saying this is the this is the Holiday Inns property. Yeah. Okay. So you need to be born again. You need to follow Jesus Christ. Turn to Him today and you can have salvation. You can be found in Him. You can be found in Jesus Christ. Jesus said on the judgment day, many are going to come to Him saying, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in Your name? But He's going to say, depart from me, you who work iniquity. I never knew you. Can't stand here and do this. I'm sorry? You can't do that. You're on Civic Center property right now. Is this public property or no, private property? No, this is uh, private. This oh, okay. Is Civic Center. Yeah, you can't be standing here doing I didn't see any uh, ordinances against... It doesn't uh, matter. You're on Civic Center property right now. The Civic Center is in public? Huh? The Civic Center no, is in public. Oh, so yeah. is, is private property then is what you're saying? No. Well, it's private, yes. In fact, it's owned by the city. But isn't that public property then? Uh, no, it's owned by the city. But how does that make it private property? Because taxpayers pay for this. Well, yeah, taxpayers pay for public property too. Can I get a supervisor outside the East Thursday? I'm just curious how it's public property, or how it's I not public property. I brought you outside the East Glass doors. He was real from Holiday Inn. Now he thinks he could be right here doing it. Oh, outside the yellow line? Yeah, outside the yellow line or there. That's fine. Okay. All right, thank you. I'm still a public guy. Yeah, I'm still a public guy. It's all good. All right, thank you guys. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Can be born again today. Today is the day of salvation. Says, I'm sorry. Okay. Today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord while you may be found. The Bible says this life is but a vapor. It appears for a little while and then passes away. It passes away very quickly. The time is ticking, and you need to follow Jesus Christ. Call upon His name. There's ne there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. Power for you to be able to overcome your sin. Power for you to be able to be saved today. You can be reconciled unto God Almighty. He's your creator. Don't you want to know your creator? Don't you want to know? If you don't want to know him, he's going to say, depart from me, you who work iniquity on the judgment day. So today, call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Seek him while he may be found. The Bible says you will find God when you seek him with all of your heart. With all of your heart. You need a heart transplant. You need a new heart by Jesus Christ. He can give you eternal life. He can give you eternal life today. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Is death. So sin leads to hell. Sin leads to hell fire. Jesus talked about hell more than he talked about heaven. He proved his teachings on, on, the, uh, on the afterlife when he rose from the dead on the third day. It's the greatest historic uh, event of that time. The greatest historic event of that time is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So don't deny history. Your conscience is bearing witness that Jesus Christ can give you eternal life. Your conscience is bearing witness that you are isolated from your Creator because of your sins, so you need to forsake your sin. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 16, if any man does not deny himself daily and pick up his cross and follow me, he is not worthy to be my disciple. It also says, Jesus also says in Matthew chapter 15, these people draw nigh unto me lips, but their hearts are far from me. So are you just have a, a, a Christianity that makes yourself feel good on Sundays? Or do you actually follow the Son of God? Do you actually follow Jesus Christ? Do you abide under his teachings? That's the only way you're going to stand on the judgment day is by abiding under the teachings of Jesus Christ. It's by following him. He has the words of eternal life. 
In John 6.63, he says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So today, turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. There's only one name appointed for men to which to be saved, which is the name of Jesus Christ, which is the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can be found in Him on the Judgment Day. You can know your Creator personally. The Bible says in Titus chapter 1, Though they profess they know God, in works they deny Him, being abominable and reprobate unto every good work. So do you have a faith that actually abides under the works of teachings of Jesus? Faith without works is dead is what the Bible says. Faith without works is dead. And faith without obedience to Jesus' teachings is dead as well too. The Bible says we have received grace for the obedience to the faith of Jesus Christ. For obedience to the faith of Jesus Christ. So faith is not just an acknowledgement of God's existence. Faith is not just an acknowledgement of God's existence, but obedience. It means to trust in Him. And if you trust in Jesus Christ, you'll follow Him. Jesus says in John chapter 8, verse 11, Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. That's the call. You need to forsake your sin. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, Let the wicked man forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and God shall abundantly pardon him. Abundantly pardon him, so you can be found in Jesus Christ today. The Bible says in, in Hebrews chapter 9, it is appointed for man once to die, and after this, the judgment. So your life is going to be judged by God Almighty. For every beer that you drink, for every joint that you smoke, for all of your idolatry, you're going to be judged by God. The question is, are you abiding in the blood of Jesus Christ or not? Are you abiding under the blood of Jesus Christ or no? That's the question tonight. You need to call upon His name. Buddha doesn't have the words of eternal life. Muhammad doesn't have the words of eternal life. Confucius doesn't have the words of eternal life. Only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ. So do you know Him personally? Or do you know of Him? Jesus said in, in Luke chapter 13 that you need to repent or you will all likewise perish. Jesus also said, whosoever does not, uh, whosoever does not believe in the Son of God is under the wrath of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1 that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and ungodliness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. In unrighteousness. So you need to get right with God. You need to call upon the name of Jesus. You need to call upon the name of Jesus. Are you building your life upon just hearing the Word of God? Or are you doing the Word of God? If you're hearing the words of God and only hearing them, your, heart, your own heart deceives you and your Christianity is in vain. Many people are going to come to Jesus on the Judgment Day saying, Lord, Lord, have you not taught in our streets? Have we not eaten and drunken in your presence? But he's going to say, depart from me. I know not whence you are from. And outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. So God doesn't want to send people to hell. He says that he has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. He's not slack concerning his promises, but that all men would come to a knowledge of the truth. So are you ever learning and never able to come to a knowledge of the truth? We need to follow Jesus. You need to follow Jesus, sir. That's the only way you can stand on the judgment day. The only way. Believe on Him. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's power. You don't have to have that yoke of sin upon your back anymore. Jesus says, my yoke is light. My yoke is light. You can have the peace that surpasses all understanding. You can have peace with your Creator. Your conscience doesn't have to scream against you all day and all night long. Guilty every time you sin. And that's what God is going to say on the Judgment Day if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, if you don't believe on Him. If you've broken His law, be not deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the Kingdom of God. Drunkards, fornicators, idolaters, idolaters, extortioners, thieves, liars will not inherit the Kingdom of God. Will not inherit the Kingdom of God. So, the way that you know that you're in the faith is you obey Jesus. The Bible says, he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. So you actually need to follow Jesus. You need to obey him. You need to obey Jesus. You need to follow Jesus. Call upon his name. He can open up your eyes. 
He can pardon you as far as the east is from the west. But you need to actually follow him, not just out of your own, own selfish ambition, but fearing the Lord. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 16, by mercy and truth are iniquity purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So you need to part from you need to depart from iniquity today. You need to depart from iniquity today. You can be saved by the name of Jesus Christ, but not by any other name. The Bible says there's a way that seems right unto men, but the end is death. So don't deceive yourselves. You need to follow Jesus today. You need to call upon his name today. How many days do you have left? Nobody knows but God Almighty. Only God Almighty. People think they're invincible and they're never going to die. But everybody is going to die. It is appointed for man once to die. And after this, the judgment. The judgment. So what are you going to say to God on the judgment day? When he says, why should I let you into my kingdom? Why should I let you into my kingdom? Are you going to be under the blood of Jesus Christ? Are you going to be obedient to the teachings of Jesus Christ? Or is he going to say, depart from me, you who work iniquity. I never knew you. I never knew you. So praise God, we all have to deal with Jesus on our own. We all have to come before the Lord personally. And we're all going to have to stand before him on the judgment day personally. Not with your neighbors, not with your church, not with anybody, but you and God Almighty alone. So fear the Lord, depart from iniquity today. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not the comfort of this life, but the fear of the Lord. So you can have wisdom in Jesus Christ. You can have life in Jesus Christ, eternal life, true life. Not the pleasures of this world. The Bible says that the grace of God has appeared to all men for salvation. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. Looking for that blessed hope, the great appearing of our great God and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. So the grace of God is supposed to transform you into a new creation. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away and all have become new. So are you new in Jesus Christ today? Or are you living after the lusts of your flesh? Are you living after the lusts of your flesh? The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, They that are Christ have crucified their flesh with the affections and the lusts thereof. So have you crucified your flesh with Jesus Christ? Or are you indulging under the pleasures of the flesh? Are you living for yourself? That's what sin is, selfishness. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Jesus says, do this and thou shalt live. Do this and thou shalt live. But the majority of people are going to hell is what Jesus says. Most people go to hell. Broad is the path under destruction, but narrow is the path unto life. So walk in the light while you have the chance, lest darkness come upon you and you stumble. The Bible says that the man who walks in darkness knows not where he goes. So have your eyes opened by Jesus today. Be born again. Be born again by the Spirit of God Almighty. Do you know the Spirit of God Almighty? Or are you still stuck in the lust of the flesh? Are you still stuck in the lust of flesh? There's one of two people in this world. Those who obey Jesus and those who are disciples of the devil. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, He that committeth sin is of the devil is of the devil. So are you living in sin? You're on the way to hellfire, and I'm warning you today. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Seek Him while you may be found. Seek Him while you may be found. You have the opportunity today. You have the opportunity today. The Lord is going to judge us. We're accountable for everything done inside of this body. Everything done. So God's heart crying out to you today. He's knocking on your heart saying, accept my words, follow them. Come to repentance in Jesus Christ. Come to repentance in Jesus Christ. Seek him while he may be found. So I'm out here today to tell you about what the Bible says. The Bible says that God has appointed a day on which he will judge the whole world in righteousness by the man of Jesus Christ. By the man of Jesus Christ. So today, you need to follow him. Only Jesus Christ, not Buddha, not Confucius, not Muhammad. Jesus has the words of eternal life. Nobody else. So God, there's only one name by which man can be saved, which is the name of Jesus Christ, it says in Acts chapter 5. 
There's no atheism in hell. There's no atheism in hell. Everybody will be a Bible believer one day. Did you believe it unto righteousness or was it too late? Was it too late? Jesus says that many people are going to come to him on the judgment day saying, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in your name? But he's going to say, depart from me, you who work iniquity. I never knew you. So you need to know Jesus intimately. He wants to speak to you. He wants to know you personally. He wants to show you his loving kindness. But if you don't follow him, you're under the wrath of God. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. If any man follow me, he shall not walk in darkness, but he will have the light of life. So you can have light. You can be raised to life. You need to be born again. You need to be born again to inherit the kingdom of God is what Jesus says. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 9, He that is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin. So are you living in sin? You're a disciple of the devil. If you're living in righteousness, obedient to the teachings of Jesus Christ, it's one or the other. Jesus says that because you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. So you need to put all the cards on the table for God. You may have said, oh, well, I go to church or I said a sinner's prayer and I didn't feel God. That's because you need to seek him out with all of your heart. You need to give him your life. Jesus said, whosoever seeks to keep their life will lose it. And whosoever loses their life for my sake will find it. And you can find it indeed. I have a confession. I used to be lost. I used to deal drugs. I used to do drugs. I used to be sexually immoral. But Jesus Christ saved me. Praise God. Hallelujah. He gave me new life. He gave me wisdom. His wisdom is found in his teachings. The wisdom, the words of eternal life. Why wouldn't you want to read them? Why wouldn't you want to obey them? What could be more valuable than eternal life today? Your soul is going to one of two places. You were created in the image of God. That means you have a conscience bearing witness and is screaming out, guilty, guilty, I've broken the commandments of God. You need a savior and his name is Jesus Christ. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. So sin leads to hell. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Only through him, only through him. So do you know of God or do you know him personally? Do you know him personally? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. For it's better to enter heaven main than to go to hellfire with both of your hands. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. For it's better to go to life main than it is to hellfire. So Jesus was a hellfire preacher. He talked more about hell than he did heaven. And when he rose from dead, the dead on the third day, he proved his teachings about the afterlife. Jesus says in John chapter 12, Whosoever rejecteth my word, the same shall judge him on the judgment day. The same shall judge him on the judgment day. So if you don't want to obey the teachings of Jesus Christ, you're on your way to the lake of fire. The lake of fire. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth and wailing. The wrath. You need to repent, sir. You need to follow Jesus Christ. The Bible says that there'll be scoffers in the last time walking after their own flesh. Not going to be laughing to God on the judgment day when he says, depart from me, you who work iniquity. So depart from iniquity today. Have your transgressions blotted out today by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Become a new creation in God Almighty. He wants to adopt you as his child. He wants you to be a son or a daughter of the Most High God. But if you live in sin, you're not a child of God. You're of the devil. Jesus said to all the Jews in the synagogue, you are of your father, the devil. So whosoever committeth sin is a servant of sin. Know ye not that whosoever you yield your members to obey that you are the servants thereof, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So if you live in sin, you are not the righteousness of God. You are not the righteousness of God. You may have been sold a religiosity to make yourself feel good on Sunday, but if you don't follow the Son of God, if you don't follow his teachings, you have a vain religion, a vain religion if you just are a Sunday morning pretender. If you're more indulged with this world, the lusts of this world, than God Almighty, then you're not of God. The Bible says, whosoever loves this world, the love of God is not in him. So if you're infatuated with the lusts and the pleasures of this world, it's a sure confirmation that you are not born of God. So you need to be born again by the Holy Spirit by calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. He can give you eternal life. He can give you power over your sin by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, I believe, 
that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, He shall endue you with power from on high. Do you have power of your sin? Do you have power of your sin? Have you been born of God? Have you been born of God today? You need to follow the teachings of Jesus. America needs God. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 9 that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forgot God. So America needs to repent. It's turned its back on God. It's turned its back on God, turning to all of these abominable things. All of these abominable things. So Jesus says that whatsoever proceeds out of the heart, the, the mouth speaketh out of the heart. So your heart needs to be trained. The Bible says, Jesus said on the, on the Sermon on the Mount, only the pure in heart shall see God. But when you're unregenerated, your heart is desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? So you need a new heart. You need a heart transplant tonight. A spiritual heart by Jesus Christ. By being born again. You need to be born again to inherit the kingdom of God, to see the kingdom of God, Jesus said. And if you're born of God, you live in righteousness. You live in holiness. You're set apart from the ways of this world. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, without holiness, no man shall see God. No man shall see God. So it's, impos it's an impossibility if you're not living holy. Those who live holy are set apart for Jesus. They pick up the cross and follow Jesus. Jesus says, if any man follows me, he needs to deny himself daily, pick up his cross, and follow me. Many people want to talk about the cross of Christ, but are you carrying a cross yourself? You can carry a cross around your neck, but can you carry a cross on your back? You can, carry, can you carry that cross on your back for the Lord Jesus Christ? Or are you going to hide from the conviction of the Lord? Turn to Him today. He wants to forgive you. He wants to have mercy on you. The Bible says that God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. No pleasure. But God is a just God. And if you've broken His laws, that makes you a criminal. And He's going to need to punish. He's a just God. He's a holy God. He can't allow sin into His kingdom. So you need to turn from your sins today and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The jailer said, what shall I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord. Not acknowledge His existence, but believe upon Him. Call upon Him as though hell is about to swallow you up. Hell hath enlarged itself. Hell hath enlarged itself. The massive, the devil has taken grip of this nation. And many people are stuck, are stuck. They're stuck in sin. They're stuck in sin and they're not following Jesus Christ. You need to follow Jesus Christ today. Seek Him while He may be found. The Bible says in the book of James, that whosoever bridleth not his tongue, his own heart deceives him, and his religion is vain. His Christianity is vain. So Jesus Christ, he never started a religion. He never started a denomination. He said, follow me. Follow me, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me, and follow me. So Jesus Christ is the only one who can forgive your sins. He's the only one who shed his blood for you. He died for you. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you so that you could be reconciled unto God. The Bible says this, that he who knew no sin became sin on the cross, that we might become the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God so you can be right and just with God today. What's more valuable than that? Being justified before your God even when you've sinned before him terribly, even when you've sinned before God terribly, he can forgive you as far as the east is from the west. I testify of this myself. I used to be a wicked sinner. But, but, but praise God, by the teachings of Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit, I was saved from my sin. I was saved from my sin, and you can be too. You call upon the name of Jesus. Seek Him while He may, may be found. Seek Him while He may be found. The Bible says in James chapter 4 that God gives grace to the humble, but He resists the proud. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and He shall exalt you in due time. Jesus says, whosoever exalts themselves will be humbled. And whosoever humbles themselves will be exalted. Exalted. So if you're living in the pride of this life, pride is the same thing that got Lucifer thrown out of heaven. So you need to humble yourself before God. You need to humble yourself before Jesus. The Bible says, what fellowship does darkness have with light? So come out from among them. Be ye separate, and I will accept you, saith the Lord. I will be a father unto you. God wants to be a father unto you. 
But if you're living in sin, the devil is your father. The devil is your father. So you need to turn to Jesus Christ. He can give you power of your sin. But many people, many people, they don't want to hear the teachings of Jesus Christ, but it's the only way to eternal life. The only way. So repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ today. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ today. The Bible says, he who committeth sin is of the devil. He who committeth sin. The Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, which burns day and night. Which burn days, day and night. You're going to have no excuse before God on judgment day saying, oh, my neighbor made me sin, or oh, my flesh made me sin. God created us in His image, and God has free will, so we have free will. So we've all chosen to sin before God. We've all broken His laws. But, praise be to God, you don't have to be under the condemnation. But this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So you need to turn from your wicked ways. Let the unrighteous man forsake his thoughts and turn to the Lord our God, and God shall abundantly pardon him. So you can have mercy as far as the east is from the west. But if you are not following Jesus Christ, you're, abundant, you're abiding under the wrath of God Almighty. The wrath of God Almighty. The Bible says that all idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. Will not inherit the kingdom of God. So do you idolize this life? Do you idolize the lust of the flesh? Or do you follow Jesus Christ? He's the only way to eternal life. Jesus says he's going to separate the sheep from the goats, the wicked unto everlasting damnation, and the righteous, the, the sheep, unto everlasting life. So have you been transformed by the Holy Spirit? Have you been transformed by the teachings of Jesus Christ? Have you been transformed by the teachings of Jesus Christ? Are you going to be found in Him on the judgment day? Or are you going to be saying, Lord, Lord, did I not do many wonderful works in Your name? But He will say to those, Plainly, depart from me, you who work iniquity, I never knew you. That word iniquity is like lawlessness. Jesus is saying, you lived a life like I never gave you a law to obey. You might say, oh, well, we're under grace. I don't have to obey God. You know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 6 that if you are under the grace of God, you should not be abiding in sin. Since we are under grace, let us not live in sin. So they that are Christ have crucified the lusts and the affections thereof. The grace of God is not a license to sin. The grace of God is not a license to sin. The Bible says that shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. Paul the Apostle said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So Paul was not a sinner. Paul obeyed Jesus. Paul obeyed the commandments of God. There's no such thing as a carnal Christian because the carnal mind is an enmity with God and it cannot please God. The carnal mind is an enmity with God and it cannot please God. So you need to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You need to come separate from this world. Do not be transformed. That's the thing with America today. It's indulged in worldliness. And the Bible says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For in this world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So Jesus Christ said on the Sermon on the Mount, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off, for it's better to enter heaven maimed than it is with hellfire with both of your hands. If your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out, for it's better to enter life maimed than it is to hellfire. So Jesus says, repent or perish. He's giving you the option. Repent or you will all likewise perish is what Jesus says. Luke chapter 13, verse 5. Luke chapter 13, verse 5. So Jesus Christ is alive. He's well today. He's alive and well today. You might say, well, I've prayed to God before and He doesn't answer my prayers. Well, it's simple. The Bible says in John chapter 9 that God does not hear the, sayers of this, the prayers of sinners. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So you need to turn from your wicked ways and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and believe the gospel today. Repent and believe the gospel today. So praise God. You can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life through Jesus Christ today. I'm out here warning you guys of the judgment of God is appointed for man once to die and after this to face the judgment. 
So when God says, why should I let you into my kingdom on the judgment day? What are you going to say? Are you going to be baffled and utterly shocked that you have no response for God on the judgment day? Are you going to be utterly shocked when God says, depart from me, you who work iniquity, I never do you. So depart from iniquity. By mercy and truth are iniquity purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Men depart from iniquity. So the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools hate instruction. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 14 that the fool says in his heart, there is no God. God says in Romans chapter 1 that we have two witnesses, conscience and creation. You were created in God's image. You weren't meant to live in sin. You weren't, meant to de you weren't designed to live in sin. Sin is unnatural. When you smoke cigarettes, it's damaging your body and your conscience is bearing witness that you're under the wrath of God. When you get drunk and drink alcohol and you wake up with a hangover, it's bearing witness in your conscience that you're not supposed to live in sin. We were not created to live in sin, but to give glory to God. So seek him while he may be found. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. For this entire world is going to pass away. The lusts in this world will pass away, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So you need to follow Jesus Christ, not being a hearer only, so deceiving yourselves. If you go to church on Sunday and you wear religious makeup, you are not a true Christian. The Bible says, He that saith he know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So he's not a true Christian. Just because you call yourself a Christian does not mean you have truly been born again by the Spirit of God Almighty. By the Spirit of God. And that's what you need to do today. You need to be born again to inherit the Kingdom of God. Not going to be laughing to God on the Judgment Day, sir. You need to turn to Jesus Christ. You need to call upon Him. He wants to have mercy upon you. He wants to speak to you personally. Jesus Christ wants to speak to you personally. God can speak to you personally. But you need to turn. You need to turn to the way of life. The Bible says that there is a way that seems right unto man, but leads to death. Leads to death. So everybody's going to die and stand before God Almighty on the judgment day. You're going to have to give an account for your life. And if you've broken the laws of God, God is going to be a just God. And He's going to send you to prison. And God's prison is hell fire. The Bible says that they will be destroyed with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. From the presence of the Lord. But praise God, you don't have to be under the wrath of God today. You can have peace that surpasses all understanding. You can have freedom in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, who the Son sets free is free indeed. So you can have freedom in Jesus Christ. You don't have to be a slave to your sin anymore. You don't have to be a slave to your sin anymore. Jesus Christ was manifested in the flesh. He's God Almighty in the flesh. Emmanuel, God with us. So you need to turn to Him. Forsake your wicked ways. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and turn to the Lord our God, and God shall abundantly pardon him. Abundantly pardon him. So the iniquity of Jesus Christ, the iniquity of all men was laid upon Jesus Christ, so that you can be forgiven that you can be reconciled to God Almighty. He who knew no sin became sin on the cross, that we might become the righteousness of God Almighty. We can be forgiven in Jesus Christ. We can have mercy in Him. You can know your Creator personally. For God so loved the world that He, that he gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish. Are you born again today, sir, is the question. God bless you as well. But are you following Jesus Christ? Know you not that your body is supposed to be a temple of the Holy Ghost? If any man destroys his body, God will destroy that person. That's a promise from the Word of God in 1 Corinthians. So, you need to follow Jesus Christ today. The only way to be saved. Buddha doesn't have the words of eternal life. Muhammad doesn't have the words of eternal life. Confucius doesn't have the words of eternal life. Only Jesus Christ. And you need to obey those words. If you truly believe on Jesus Christ, you're going to obey Him. <coughs> What a hypocrite somebody would be to say, I believe in somebody, but to not follow them, to not trust in them. And if you trust in Jesus Christ, you're going to obey His teachings. So you need to obey the teachings of Jesus Christ. Humble yourself as a small child to inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus says, 
If any man does not humble himself like a small child, he will in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. So you need to have a childlike faith in Jesus Christ. You need to have a childlike faith. Forsake. Forsake. Your sin. 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 Leads to hell. 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 Hellfire. Jesus was the one who coined the term hellfire. He spoke about hellfire more than he talked about heaven. He said, many people are going to come to me on the judgment day saying, Lord, Lord, have you not taught in our streets? Have you not eaten and drunken in our presence? But he's going to say, depart from me. You who work iniquity, I know not whence you are from. And outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Even Paul the Apostle preached repentance. He said that the Gentiles should turn and do works meet for repentance. John the Baptist said, flee from the wrath to come. You brood of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? The wrath of God is his coming. As just sure it is anything. Are you going to follow Jesus and be forgiven? Or are you going to continue to ignore the conviction of the Lord? He's going to say, fine, depart from me, who, you who work iniquity. You can go to the place of disobedience. You can go to the place of hellfire. So there's no party in hell. There's no atheism in hell. Jesus said, it's a place where the fire is quenched not and the worm dies not and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So you can have eternal life though. You don't have to go there. You don't have to go to hellfire. You don't have to go to hellfire, but you can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. God Almighty will never leave you or forsake you, but you can leave or forsake him. Have you forsaken the commandments of God? Have you tied them around your neck like a bracelet? Or are you walking in the foolishness of your flesh? See, God, God never designed us to live in sin. God never designed us to live in sin. Think about it. Think about it. Sin leads to destruction. It leads to broken families. It leads to divorce. It leads to going to jail. And God is, God is a just God and He's going to judge criminals on the judgment day. And all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus Christ came not into this world to condemn the world, but that through the world they might be saved. So God is an all-consuming flame. Hallelujah. He can burn off your bondages of sin. He can give you a yoke that is light. He can give you the peace that surpasses all understanding that can guard your heart and mind unto the day of redemption. So praise God. You can follow Jesus. Give Him the glory. Ecclesiastes says, this is the whole of man, to fear God and to keep His commandments. Ecclesiastes also says that God created man upright, but He has sought out His own inventions. He has sought out His own wicked ways. The Bible says that in the last times there should be scoffers walking after their own flesh. So today, are you found in Jesus Christ? Are you found in Jesus Christ? God is trying to knock on your heart saying, come, why will you die? God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked man turn from his ways and live. Why won't you turn to Jesus Christ and live? The Bible says in Psalm chapter 9 that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forgot God. So follow Jesus Christ today. Jesus said to the woman caught in adultery in John chapter 8, go and sin no more. Not go and sin less. Go and sin no more. And she wasn't even regenerated yet at that point. So you can be saved through Jesus Christ today. His precious blood can wipe you as white as snow. He says that though your sins be as scarlet, come let us reason together. They shall be as white as snow. So if you be willing and obedient, you can eat the good of the land. But if you shall refuse and rebel, you shall die by the devouring of the sword. Because the Lord hath spoken it. The Lord hath spoken it. So follow Jesus Christ today. He said in John chapter 8, verse 34, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. Is the servant of sin. So you need a heart transplant. You need a circumcision of your heart. Jesus Christ can cleanse your consciousness from dead works to serve the living God. So you need to serve God of righteousness leading to holiness. Be not, be not mocked. 
Whatsoever a man sows, he shall, he shall reap, whether of disobedience unto death or of obedience unto righteousness, unto everlasting life. Everlasting life. So you might say, I've prayed to Jesus before and I'm fine with God. The man said, there's a way that seems right unto man, but to the end leads to death. So your life needs to line up with the scriptures, the Bible, the inspired word of God. There's over 25,000 New Testament manuscripts written in three different languages within 99% accuracy of each other. So the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the greatest historic event of that time, of that time. So Jesus Christ saves, call upon his name. Let whosoever name the name of Christ, let him depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. So depart from your wicked ways, and God shall abundantly pardon you. Repent of your sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you can be reconciled unto God Almighty. Jesus came that he might reconcile him unto, our, unto his self. So today you can have life in Jesus Christ. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Do you believe the Jews are going to go to heaven? Uh, they need to believe in the Messianic. Uh, they need to be Messianic Jews. Yeah, they need to believe in the Messiah. There's over no, 300. I'm just saying the Jew period. Yeah, they need to believe on Jesus. He's the Messiah. Yeah. And if they don't, they go to hell, right? Uh, yeah, Jesus said, whosoever doesn't believe in the, on the Son of God abides under the wrath of God. See, we need a blood atonement for our sins, right? This was prophesied in the Old Testament, and uh, we need a blood a a atonement for the sins, right? And only Jesus Christ gave the sacrifice. Okay, another question. Uh -huh. You said the Jews could go to heaven, right? Um, whosoever has no, fallen short of... Not, before Christ. Oh, before Christ? Well, you can uh, you can believe in Jesus Christ as uh, as like, uh, you know, pre-before, believing in the Messiah to come, right? Right. Yeah. Are, are you? A, may I ask? Are you a Jew yourself? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, praise God. Yeah. You know, um, in the in the New Testament it says there's no difference between Jew or Greek, right? That we're all one in Christ. So now the whole world, there's no difference between a Jew or or a Gentile. I guess I should say not a Greek, but yeah. So you can call upon the name of Jesus. He was prophesied over 300 times in the Old Testament, uh, and you know. All of it's a it's a literal mathematical impossibility for one man to fulfill even like ten of those ten of those uh, prophecies, you know. So any uh, all the way from you know he was a man of sorrows to how he was going to be crucified to what he was gonna you know what he was gonna appear like and all of these things. I would encourage you to look at the, the prophecies that are fulfilled by Jesus. You mentioned the word hell. Yeah. There's no word in the Bible that says hell. Uh, Psalm, actually in the Old Testament, uh, Psalm chapter 9, which I quoted, it says, The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations no, that forgot God. it doesn't God. say hell in the Bible at all. Okay, well, in the King James Version, yeah, it does. Psalm, Psalm chapter 9, uh, you can it look does, it up. It doesn't, it doesn't mention hell. Okay, well, uh, you know, the, it's, it's in Psalm chapter 9, and, uh, you know, Sheol uh, was referred to as a, as a place of, of hell in the Old Testament. Yes, but it doesn't say hell. Well, yeah, you know, that, that might be the, the translation from, from that language, but it's, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah, but it doesn't say hell. Well, yeah, you know, Jesus' name is Yeshua, but in English we call him Jesus, so, you know, I'm, I'm preaching the gospel. Jesus is yeah, yeah. Spanish. Yeah. There's a name for it in Native American, too. But I don't know. I, they tried telling me that once. Well, what is this? Well, we, oh, something like that. I don't know. It's like Takati or something like that. Yeah. I don't even know. It's weird. But. And now to the speak of Jehovah. Yeah, yeah, Je Jehovah God. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it, that would be Father God. I'm, I'm more, more uh, uh, acquainted with uh, the Father, yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so, my questions are answered. Okay, yeah, praise God. Uh, Jesus Christ, He can give you a blood atonement. He can give you new life. No. You know? no? no? Why not? I'm a Jew. But you can become a Messianic Jew. Why no. not? No. Why not? No. I would it's not tradition. But Jesus said, by the traditions of men, you make void the commandments of God, you know. So, so, my, my mom was a Christian. Okay. okay. Now, she believed that the Ten Commandments yep. and the two commandments that Christ gave us are the same. Yeah, all, everything is fulfilled in, in, in the... No, they're the same. You keep the ten, you'll keep the two. 
Yeah, but what I was trying to say that, um, you know, when he says to love the Lord your God with everything you have and love your neighbor as yourself, the law and the prophets hang on these. So everything that the law and the prophets taught about in the Old Testament is based on, yeah, those two commandments. But, you know, we've all broken those moral commandments and we need something to be reconciled to God because, you know, sin separates us from yeah. God. And nothing but the blood of Jesus, man. Good for you. I would encourage you to, to look up the prophecies, definitely. Um, and don't allow tr tradition to hold you back from uh, having atonement, man. Okay. God bless you. So today, there's no difference between any man. No difference in ethnicity. No difference all across the world. Everybody needs Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for every single man. He died for the Canadians. He denied. He died for the Jews. He died for all Gentiles. He, did not, he tasted death for every man is what the Bible says. Jesus Christ tasted death for every man. So you don't have to taste the wages of sin. But if you don't have the atonement of Jesus Christ, you are under the wrath of God. The wrath of God. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 that if we walk in the light as He is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. But if we walk in darkness, we lie and the truth is not in us. So if we walk in sin and call ourselves Christians, say, I'm fine under the blood of Jesus Christ, your own heart has deceived you. Your own heart deceived you. James chapter 1 says, if any man doesn't have a bridle on his tongue, his own heart deceives him and his religion is vanity, is vanity. Jesus said, men shall give an account for every idle word spoken on the judgment day. Every idle word spoken on the judgment day, you're going to have to give an account for God. So every beer that you drank, every cigarette that you smoked, every sexually immoral act that you committed, you're going to have to give an account before God and He's going to judge you. He's a just God and He can't allow sin into His kingdom. God is a holy God. God is a holy God. So you need to become a saint. Sinners will not inherit the kingdom of God, but only saints. You need to be transformed now. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to be reconciled unto God Almighty. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ and you can be saved. Let his all-consuming flame fall upon you and burn up that flesh, burn up those desires. He can give you power over your sin. You might say, well, I've tried out church before. No, you need to seek Jesus Christ personally. You need to get to know him personally. If you just go to church, you do, you do not know Jesus Christ personally. You can't just be a Sunday morning per tape because I go to church, but you need to follow the Son of God to inherit the kingdom of life. Jesus said, whosoever seeks to save their life must lose it for my sake, and whosoever loses their, or keeps their life will lose it. Will lose it. So you need to follow Jesus Christ. Turn upon Him. He's the only name by which man can be saved. The only name given which unto men. He is the Messiah manifested in the flesh. Over 300 prophecies in the Old Testament about Jesus Christ. Over 300. Even the Quran says that Jesus is the Messiah. Even the Quran says that Jesus is the Messiah. So, don't you want to get to know His teachings? Don't you want to at least check them out for yourself? The words of eternal life, they can be found in Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life today, sir, if you turn from your sin, if you repent of your sins, and believe in the Gospel of Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life. Jesus said He's going to separate the sheep from the goat. Sheep from the goats in the last times. The sheep on His right hand who committed righteous acts and loved their neighbors as themselves. But the goats on the left hand who lived in unrighteousness. Who lived in unrighteousness. And He said that the goats are going to be cast into everlasting destruction. Everlasting pain. Outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and ungodliness and all men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. But you don't have to be under the wrath of God today. You can be forgiven as far as the east is from the west. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 3, unless a man is born again, he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. He cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So praise God, you need to be born again by the Holy Spirit. You need to call upon Jesus Christ for power of your sins. He wants to know you personally. But if you're living in sin, you do not know Jesus at all. If you're living in sin, you do not know Jesus because sin, sin, sin leads to hell fire. Jesus said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off for it's better to enter life maimed than it is to both of your hands with hell fire. Jesus said, whosoever looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 
So Jesus said, if your righteousness does not exceed that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus never started the Catholic religion. Jesus never started a religion at all. He says, follow me. Deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. You can wear a cross around your neck, but can you carry a cross on your back? You can wear a cross around your neck, but can you carry a cross on your back? So don't deceive your own self tonight. Have the mercy of Jesus Christ be found in the goodness of God. How great is the goodness of God that he wants to call you a son or daughter of his. He wants to speak to you personally. He wants to guide you with his Holy Spirit. He wants to give you direction, wisdom, righteousness, eternal life in Jesus Christ. But if you reject him, you shall die by the, by the sword, saith the Lord, because the Lord has spoken it. The Lord has spoken it. So turn to Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 34, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. The Bible also says in the Psalms, ye that love the Lord hate evil. So there needs to be more hatred for sin. Can I answer a question for you guys? Uh, not right now. Okay, well, I'm going to keep preaching then. Praise God. Okay, so you need to turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus said to the woman caught in adultery, Go and sin no more. That's what Jesus Christ is calling you to do today, to forsake your wicked ways. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and God shall abundantly pardon him. God shall abundantly pardon him. So you can have your transgressions wiped out as far as the east is from the west, but you need to follow Jesus Christ. You need to deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow him. You can wear a cross around your neck, but can you carry a cross around your back? Anybody can call themselves a Christian, but do you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ? Do you know them or do you know the commandments of the devil? Do you live in the lust of the flesh? Do you live in the lust of the flesh? The Bible says that if we walk in the lust of the flesh, we will not inherit the kingdom of God in Galatians chapter 5. The works of the flesh are, ev are evident. So, you need Jesus Christ today. You need his wisdom to enter into your mind. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 that the carnal mind is at enmity with God and it can't please God. So you need the wisdom of Jesus Christ to enter into your mind, to give you a renewing of the mind so that you can be cleansed from dead works. You can be cleansed of that yoke of sin upon your conscience, screaming out, bearing witness that you've sinned before a holy God. You've sinned before a holy God and you need an atonement. You need to be forgiven by the shedding of blood, by an atonement of blood. And only one person shed his blood for you that you can be reconciled unto God. And that is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he died for you and he was rose again on the third day. He who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God Almighty. The righteousness of God Almighty so you can be found in him. You can have eternal life. Jesus said that I've come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. But the devil comes not to kill, steal and destroy. Hey, praise God. How's it going? Praise Jesus. Are you, bo are you born again? No. Oh, okay, well, you need to be saved. Praise you're going to have to stand before God on the judgment. You can praise Him. Yeah, give Him the glory. But you need to follow Him. Is this for you need real? to follow Him. Yeah, on the judgment day, you're not going to be asking know, like, if it's for real. You need to follow Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ. It's the most real thing. This is eternity. Everlasting destruction, hellfire, or eternal life with God. So do you know God today? Do you know Jesus Christ today? Do you know him personally? Or do you live after the lust of your flesh? Do you keep the commandments of Jesus Christ? Or do you keep the commandments of the devil? Can I shake your hand? Yeah, how's it going, man? Are you, are you born again? I'm not. I'm just proud that you stand for what you believe in. Yeah, well, uh, past, okay, but. well, uh, I would encourage you, call upon the name of, read the teachings of Jesus Christ. You can have eternal life. Dude, I can see the conviction. I'll come talk to you, dude. Yeah, uh, check me out on YouTube, Noah Hines, H-I-N-E-S. Right, okay, good. there's an email on there and there's a Skype. I can see that conviction. God is drawing you, man. He wants to give you eternal life. And you can not have that, that that's bearing on your conscience right now that you've sinned before a holy God. That can be wiped out. You, you need to follow Jesus Christ so he can give you eternal life. So praise God. Uh, I appreciate what you're doing, sir. Yeah, I'm well, uh, it's, it's, it's for the glory of God. Yep. Noah Hines, YouTube, H-I-N-E-S. All right, praise God. So Jesus Christ is the one who can give you eternal life. Not Buddha, not Muhammad, not Confucius, only Jesus Christ. How's it going, man?
I just have a quick question. question for you. Yeah, How go ahead. can I be reborn again? You need to repent and believe the gospel, okay? So um, you need to, um, yeah, be born again. That's what Jesus said in, in John chapter 8, or John chapter 3, I'm sorry. He said, this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light. So we've all sinned before a holy God. You know, our conscience bears witness when we do something wrong that, you know, God gave us this conscience because we were created in his image. So you need a, an atonement, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. He died for you. He, he was raised again on the third day that you might be reconciled unto God. So you need to believe on him. You need to repent, turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and God shall abundantly pardon him. So you, you can be born again today. You don't have to suffer the wrath of God. Hell, see, God is a just God, right? And uh, he has to punish law breakers and if we've broken the law of god for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god so we not all need an atonement for our sins so call upon the name of jesus christ call upon him say god i'm sorry for my sins save me save me save my soul lord god no Hines, check it out on facebook call upon the name of jesus christ forsake your wicked ways and have eternal life call upon jesus christ today call upon his name like hell is about to swallow you up like hell is about to swallow you up. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ. He can save you today. Repent and believe the gospel. Jesus Christ, was di he died for your justification. He was raised again on the third day for your justification that you might be reconciled unto God. You can know your Creator personally. He wants to speak to you personally. God wants to show you His loving kindness. But if you're abiding under the wrath of God, you can't experience that. You might say, well, I thought God loved everybody. Jesus said in John chapter 15, verse 10, if you abide in my commandments, then you shall abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, then you shall abide in my love. So praise God. Praise God. You can follow Jesus Christ today and have eternal life. Jesus Christ said it on the judgment day that many people shall come unto me saying, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in your name? But he's going to say, depart from me. You who work iniquity, I never knew you. And outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Outside there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, call upon Jesus. Call upon his name. Call upon his name today. You can have mercy. You can have the grace and forgiveness of God. You can have the grace and forgiveness of God, but you need to turn to him. Not follow your own way, but Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. So read the words of Jesus Christ, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John.